Hello there. Welcome to this brand new series. I haven't uploaded for a couple of months, maybe longer. I had this horrendous sore throat. It lasted for five or six weeks. It just wouldn't go. I've never had a sore throat before where it physically hurt to breathe. Oh, it was so painful, especially on an evening. You know, as it got the day got late, as it got tired, so much pain. So I could hardly talk. So I haven't uploaded any videos for a while. And even my trading room, I wasn't that active. I couldn't speak. So I was in so much pain. I'm now doing much better. Hence this video, trading a small account. This is a new series that's going to teach you how to trade a small account a small forex account and to help you learn and to help you successfully trade a small account i will be trading a small account myself live everything is recorded this is going to be so much fun i'm excited okay so what to expect from this series number one live transparent trading I'm going to have a small trading account, a thousand pounds will be in the account. You'll be able to see the trading platform, the thousand pound, and I will record my trades, explain why I'm taking the trades I am. I will manage the trades live. I will give you as much detail as possible for every trade I'm taking. And it will be as transparent as possible. I can bring up my account history, show you all the profits, all the losses, the dates, the entry prices, the closing prices. It will be as transparent as possible. I can even duplicate the trades I'm taking on an MT4 platform and connect that to my FX book if people want that as well. But I will be recording everything on screen and you'll see everything. So live trading that's transparent. I'll be trading a small account live. You'll be able to see everything. You will learn how to trade a small account. So you'll learn from me how I trade a small account, the success I'm having, how I approach the markets, why I take the trades I do in order to help you trade a small account. You'll be able to see the risks that I take, the amount of trades that I take. All these things will help you to trade your very own small trading account because most of my listeners have small accounts. When I say small accounts, their accounts range from 50 pounds, dollars, euros up to perhaps 10,000 pounds, dollars, euros. So if you're within that range, I would consider you trade a small Forex trading account, so anything below £10,000. Most people that have been trading for a while may have an account between 500 and 5000 Okay, so I consider that a small account. You will receive top tips and deep insights. I've been trading for a long time. I know what I'm talking about. As you follow this free series you will receive some real key insights that will help you in your trading. And following the videos may give you some trading ideas. You'll be seeing the trades I'm taking, which you can try and replicate yourself, but it may give you some trading ideas. So it may create trading opportunities for you. Okay, trading a small account. There are some things that you should no, some things I wanted to mention before we jump in with the first live trade. And that is retail traders are undercapitalized, heavily undercapitalized. They're trading small accounts, as mentioned already. If you're a professional trader, you might be trading with $50 million, as an example. If you can make 10%, per year, you made $5 million that year. So the return in regards to percentages, if you're a professional trader, are very small, you know, 10, 20%. If you can do, do 30% in a year, you've had a really good year. 
you made a lot of money because your account size is so big. Retail traders are trying to make a lot more than that in percentage terms. Most of us are at least trying to double our account every year. So if these professional traders that have Bloomberg terminals and colleagues around them that they can share ideas with, they're highly educated, they're highly trained, they know what they're doing, they're only trying to make 10, 20% per year on their trading. You, me, every other retail trader is trying to make much bigger returns than the professionals. And we don't have our Bloomberg terminals. We don't have our colleagues. We don't have the education. So we're heavily disadvantaged. And we're undercapitalized. It's really difficult. What I'm trying to say is the whole point of me talking about this is you're at a huge disadvantage. Trading, retail trading is so difficult. The odds are really against you in nearly every way. But moving on to point two here, it's possible. Okay, it is possible. And that's something else you will get from this series. You'll see that it is possible to trade a small account to make good returns, but also be successful as a trader, as a retail trader. High leverage is not needed. So when trading a small account, you do not need high leverage. Some traders are choosing their broker based on leverage rather than regulation, which is really dangerous. Don't go with a broker because it offers high leverage. High leverage is not needed if you're trading a small account. If you have $100 in your account, then you are going to need high leverage. But anything 500 plus, you can deal with the bog standard 130 leverage. You can do it. Okay. And I'm going to show you how, because the broker I'll be using with my thousand pound account offers one to 30 leverage. And that's the leverage I'll be using. If you're going to day trade, if you're going to take loads and loads of trades, if you're going to be over trading, have too many positions open, then leverage will be needed. But that's not the way you're meant to be trading. So if you're trading with one to 30 and being wise and selective of your trades, looking for the best trading opportunities, which brings us on to point four, then 130 leverage is absolutely fine. And you'll see that in this series. Point four, look for the best trading opportunities. In this series, I'll be focusing on the best trading opportunities, how I find them. I'll be looking to take perhaps one or two trades per week rather than one to two trades per day. And you'll see how that results in a great overall performance and great profits. So if you're trading a small account, look for the best trading opportunities. It's better to be in one or two really good trades where you can follow a trend, make a huge risk reward. Trades you don't have to manage much. You can still work, you can still study. You can just check your platform once or twice a day. That is the perfect scenario, the perfect situation to be in. Rather, try, rather than trying to day trade and take loads and loads of trades, you're trying to check your phone every 10 minutes, you've got too many positions open, you get a margin call. That is just a nightmare. You don't want to be in that situation. Look for the best trading opportunities. What's the best trading opportunity today, this week, this month? That's the mindset to have. Okay, a few other things to mention before we get started. I'll be trading with CMC Markets. It is an FCA regulated broker. It's a great platform. They offer a great service. The reason why I chose them is the FCA regulation, but also the range of markets. So they offer every currency pair you can think of. They're all there. I want as many trading trading opportunities as I can, and I want the best trading opportunities. So I need a full range of markets. Okay, if I'm with a bog standard broker that offers 25 currency pairs, my opportunities are limited to those 25 currency pairs. 
I want 100 currency pairs. I want to be able to see the full range of markets and take the best one. Okay, so that's the, one of the reasons why I chose CMC markets. You'll be able to see everything, my account history, as already mentioned, my open positions. What you won't be able to see is my live account number, which shows on the top left, my logo for my videos will show at the top left to cover that account number purely because that's sensitive information. And I plan on growing this small account over the coming weeks, months and years into a substantial account, trading account. And I don't want that live account number showing for obvious reasons. There will be losses. Okay. You will see losses, especially when I go through the account history, you'll see the losses, but hopefully they'll be quite small compared to the, the winners, but you will see losing trades. Expect that every trader has them. And the idea behind this is to catch some big swings. Okay. Some of my trades might be open for a couple of months. So the full trade might not be covered in a video. It could be that one video covers the, the entry of the trade, why I took the trade, my entry price. And it could be two months later, you get another video that shows the, the trade being closed. So you might not necessarily see a full trade from start to finish in a single video. This is why you should watch this series from the beginning. Go through every video, you'll get the full perspective then of trades opening and trades closing. Because these trades are open for so long, it's really hard to, to cover that in, in a single video. Okay, any questions, let me know below. I'm excited for this series and there'll be a link below for the next video in this series, which will be my first trade. Fingers crossed that this goes well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Like, comment in the section below. All comments are appreciated. Any questions you have about this series, any ideas you have, leave them in the comment section below and I'll speak to you in the next video.